Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 68. NASDAQ is up 39. S&P's up 15 and a half. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Jack Gleason, as we do each and every Thursday at 40 past the hour. You can find Jack every trading day, folks, at MajorLeagueTrading.com. That's MajorLeagueTrading.com. Jack Gleason, what's going on, brother? What's going on, guys? Over here, I'm actually uh, in my office right now, so I've just been trading no, no longer from home. I mean, I do trade from home and not, uh, now, but I'm trading with a, a friend of mine in uh, my office here. So back in Chicago, uh, no longer in the uh, Arizona desert. Weather isn't as nice here. It's raining again today, but uh, you know, I have a couple of different markets uh, that I'm looking at. Now, oil we talked about last week had a nice big breakdown, but huge came into a huge level that I've been waiting for. That, that support level had bounced off. I've had like a 5720 okay. zone. If okay. you look at the consolidation that we broke out of uh, going back to February, I mean, there was, you know, a big, you know, call it a flag or a pennant, whatever, whatever the term you want to use. Those highs going back to like February 22nd, 25th, uh, even into the beginning of March, retested. So at 57 uh, 20 to 57 level. I was really, really watching here, and then uh, so I took. So I'm actually long um, some gold right now as well, which is probably uh, I know that's, that's the one we always like to talk about. But uh, nice if you guys look at the continuous contract. Now, do you guys chart on Thinkorswim usually, or what do you chart continuous on? Continuous contract in gold. Yeah, the continuous yeah, contract. In, yeah. So the low of the 21st. Um, to that high that we put in yesterday on the 29th, that 50% retracement here is at 12.79 half on the continuous. Okay. That had a really good reaction so far today, which also kind of filled the gap from the rollover to the Q19 contract. And so that would target on a continuation up to uh, 12.95.4. So I'm just looking for a, a day trade up here to 88 and a half here, which I'll be hopefully filled soon. Uh, but other than that, guys, this S&P, uh, one of the bigger levels I'm watching here is this halfway back short from the 50% retracement from the high of last Friday, which is 28.42, to the low, which is 27.66 quarter. That halfway back, that divided by two numbers is going to be 28.04, which is actually just below last week's low. So I'm really paying attention to that 28.04, whether we get up there today possibly tomorrow. I see that as being a really heavy resistance level moving forward. It's also the close of that first breakdown day on Tuesday. So I'm really going to be paying close attention to that, but I don't really have much support till like 27.40. So unless, you know, the shorts really, really get squeezed here, I, I just see this market uh, trending lower. Yeah, so this is a new phenomenon for you, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> Millennial, never traded a bear market before, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, you no, know, I mean, seriously, it's pretty cool, right? I mean, that you know, that's the bottom line. You know, there's, there's always yeah, something moving I, these I, markets, you know. So, yeah, I'm just so used to like trading on the smaller time frame compared to like probably most traders who are part of my generation. A lot of traders that I know, like you know, they kind of just trade the the higher time frames and they only trade long. Or I mean, that's the only thing that works, especially if you're a stock trader specifically and you're swing trading. I mean, very rarely. Are you finding, you know, you're just betting against, betting against the market if the stock's trending down. There's gold popping up for me. It's probably because I jumped on the show. Probably. No, totally. <laughs> yeah, no, this, I like how gold, we were just talking about it before you get on. I like how this, this thing is setting up, man. Uh, you know, all you need now is the dollar to fall apart, which it hasn't yet. Uh, you know, it's sitting at those highs, the dollar index. But there's, you know, there's some, there's some action there. Because silver, what silver did, uh, you know, yes, uh, the day before yesterday, it rejected that lower price. I mean, silver was ready to jump off the cliff. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I haven't looked at silver in a while, but it's um, been a dog. Kind of, don't look at it. It's <laughs> don't look at it. It'll bite you. Yeah. 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 Actually, yeah. silver's holding a halfway back long from the lows of Tuesday as well, so that's going to target up at least to 1449 here. I mean, that's pretty close to getting hit. I'll probably get hit today, but what I'm really looking for actually is all this oil inventory report to rip us up higher. I mean, what a reversal yesterday. We traded all the way from 59.40 down to the 57s, back up in the overnight session, getting up to 59.60. I mean, the volatility in oil right now, that's my go-to trading market. Yeah. Uh, just had a lot of range expansion, big, big reversal candle yesterday. So I'm hoping we can continue, uh, continue higher from here. I might be crying if we don't. Well, you're, gonna, you're waiting for these 11 o'clock numbers, right? 
Yeah, wait for, you know, it's funny. I was sitting there, and I, I forgot there were 11 o'clock, and uh, we were rolling around. It was, uh, it was 10.30, and I'm like, oh, all right, here it comes, here it goes. And I was like, what's going on? Where's yeah, no, no, we've, uh, we've done that. We've, we've done it, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. And those gas numbers come out, that, that gas, uh, you know, yeah, it was like 115 is, billion cubic feet, so yeah. they were looking for 100, so you had gas pull back about two, three, four pennies. Uh, yeah, gave it up a bit. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. I don't trade too much gas. You guys trade a lot of gas? It no, just seems no. like such a that, That's the widow maker. Don't trade it. We like looking at it on yeah. those inventory numbers, just like right. that. So that's right. usually Thursday, yeah. 1030 Eastern time. So we'll look at maybe uh, some volatility. But as we were just looking at it, I mean, it's been a pretty calm market for... Uh, uh, it's such an ugly chart. I mean, it yeah. almost looks like the VIX if you go to the daily, the way it popped in November on that big short squeeze. <laughs> yep. Yeah. 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 It's funny. Yeah. But yeah, other than that, it's just, it's, it's, it's not my cup of tea. Technically, fundamentally, gas is the, just a strange cat, man. I mean, it can be like 10 below zero in the winter and gas still goes down. It's like, really? <laughs> yeah, so no doubt. The Widowmaker. The yeah, Widowmaker. That's, that's a fact, man. There's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. Uh, this S&P is going to get interesting here because it, it looks like, you know, we just gave up like nine points. Um, with two, yeah, well, I, no, I, I gave I up got, seven points. Gave up seven. Yeah, points. I gave up. Gave up seven. Yeah. I, you know, it's just if this thing can get back below the value areas for today. So value area high in the S and P is uh, let's see, it's twenty seven eighty five. If we start dipping back below into twenty seven eighty five later on the day, like we can't hold above that. We're we're gonna get swooshed, you know, at least back down to low seventies. Yeah. yeah. So that'll that'll be something to watch. Uh, later later uh today if it ends up playing out that way but i'd like to see if we can hold about these overnight highs at 92 maybe we'll get up to like 2804 that's what i'd be looking for and then we'll see with that you know what's intriguing jack is that if you take a look at the uh the oil the continuous contract in oil in the s p you know oil is <laughs> like a head of the s p like about the last year for about uh about a week so it's going to be intriguing you know if you take a look at that you'll see what i'm talking about Oil seems, if oil's going down, S&P wants down. Oil's going up, S&P seems to want to go up. So it's, it, you know, it's like, okay, you know, I'm, I'm, it's pretty cool watching how that thing shakes out, man. So where this oil contract goes today, I think it's going to be important in the market in general. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I, I can see it. I can see it definitely leading, leading the move. I mean, there, you know, oil really started squeezing yesterday at noon, and then S&P kind of got that late day squeeze yep. uh, yesterday. So, I mean, I think if we... I, I do think I normally don't try to correlate those markets to, but in in this specific circumstance, I think you know just on a shorter time frame, if oil moves down, I can see the S and P getting below that value area, a uh, high, and then rotating back to the bottom of value area low, which is twenty seven seventy two area. But uh, that'll that'll be the trades I'm looking at here today. Um, and then you know, like I said, this gold. I really like the way this gold is reacting. That happened. Totally. Well, welcome back to Chicago, brother. Hey. I'll catch you guys next week. Take care. You have a great one, a safe one. We look forward to speaking to you next Thursday, Jack. And listen, folks, you can check out Jack every trading day at MajorLeagueTrading.com. Tommy and I are going to be coming right back, folks. Dow's up 41, Nasdaq's up 33, SP's up 12 and a half. We'll come right back.